How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we have the Brother HL L2395DW and we're going to fix our problem of it not being hooked up to our Wi-Fi network by hooking it up to our Wi-Fi network. I'm going to show you guys two different methods of how to do it. It's really not that difficult and by the end of this video I'm confident you're going to be able to hook this up to your Wi-Fi. Although we're working on this specific printer, this method can work for multiple models. I have a bunch of videos to other printers that we're hooking up to Wi-Fi. I will put links to those in the description if this one doesn't help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into the tutorial. So our printer is turned on and to get this screen, you're just gonna have to hit a button if this screen is black or you're just gonna have to tap on the screen. Down here, it's either gonna say Wi-Fi or it's gonna have a little Wi-Fi signal with an arrow through it. We're going to press on that and then we're going to go down here to WPS. It's gonna ask us to switch network interface to wireless. We're gonna hit yes. Then it's gonna ask to start the WPS on your wireless access point and then press okay. We're gonna go over to our router. Here I have an Asus. My WPS button is on the side. I'm going to hold that button down. It's gonna blink my power button meaning that we activated the WPS. Router may be different, or you might have an Orbi or a Google Nest, and in that case, you're gonna to wanna to hit the sync button on the back. Once your router WPS is activated, we're going to hit OK. Activating WPS on your router opens your Wi-Fi for a short amount of time to allow devices such as printers to connect to them. Once the WPS is activated on the router and the printer, it's going to share the Wi-Fi information and you should get a connected prompt and then you're going to hit OK. Now if you hit back, you're going to see that you have blue Wi-Fi bars and that means your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. If that didn't work for you, we're gonna to go to method number two, which is a little bit more pain in the butt, but it can still get your printer connected to your Wi-Fi. So for method number two, we're going to tap on the Wi-Fi icon down here and then we're going to go to setup wizard. It may ask you to switch network interface to wireless. We're going to hit yes. Now it's searching for SSIDs, which is just accessible Wi-Fi names within the range of the printer. You see your Wi-Fi network there, just tap on it. Or if you don't see it, you can press down and search for it that way. Ours is named eight foot ceiling, so we're gonna tap that and then we're going to hit okay. Now we're gonna have to type in our network key. It's very important that you get this exactly correct or it's not gonna work. It is case sensitive, so you're gonna have to toggle between uppercase and lowercase. If you need numbers or symbols, you're going to tap this to get to numbers and tap it one more time to get to symbols. You have a space right here if you need spaces. So now you're going to ask somebody or look for your little slip of paper that has your network key on it that's somewhere around the house. And our network password is year of the ox. So we're gonna type that in real quick and then we're going to hit okay. Now it's going to try to connect to our Wi-Fi using that SSID and that password, and we have indeed connected. We're going to hit okay, then we're gonna hit back. Now you have a blue Wi-Fi signal right here, meaning that your printer is indeed connected to your Wi-Fi. I told you it was gonna be easy, now your printer should be connected to your Wi-Fi network. Let me know which method worked for you in the comment section below. And if you need further instruction and tutorials on how to print from brother printers from like iPhones or from Android phones or from your computer, I will put links to relevant videos in the description and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.